again, a DIY moment uh, that you can use uh, with stuff around your house. So these are these hanging fruit baskets that a lot of people have within their home. Tanya buys them and, all the time on the or DIY and for shows, and way too many of them. Right? Uh, yes, yeah, and yeah. for hanging and planters, for planters, exactly. Right. And so if you have them lying around, which uh, if you want to do it, again, you're so close to Christmas, you gotta, you gotta throw in some extra lights. If you have a bundle of extra lights, clearly easy to do. You can just wrap them like this, use some of these zip ties cool. like so. Um, if you have more of them, obviously the more the better, but these little zip ties obviously are super easy. You can buy them in a bundle at any store. Uh, or they, they come nice with your garbage bags, just look in the box. Or they come with your garbage bags, yes, that's true as well. And then if you wanna pull this out, um, the beauty of this, which we've done on this one a little bit differently, we've wrapped the exterior of it, and we're gonna take that, and we're gonna hang it just like this. And what we've done is we've created our very, oh. Oh, you're stuck, huh? Oh, 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 thank Okey you. Okie doke. Uh, and we've created our very own chandelier. Now, of course, you can swag it or you can buy one of those converters that go into those lights. And beautiful, you have your own chandelier. Oh, I'm getting a high 10. You I'm getting a high 10, 10 on that one. You said no high 10. Pretty. That's real pretty. I got it handed to you. That was a good one. Thank that you. is Thank real you. pretty. Yeah. All right. All right, well, since we're talking at home decor, This DIY. one I can do, I have a ton of these. Do you have a garden, big one? I have a huge garden. My husband is a wonderful, wonderful gardener, but we also have uh, a couple of guys that help us out year round and we wrap the garden every year. This is a, a yeah. tomato case. Tomato case. Yes. So this is what normally you'd pop into the ground. I have a and zip the tomatoes tied at the bottom. climb up the inside and you get more tomatoes, more fruit production if it has a place to grow towards the sun. Right, so now you can take that tomato cage, which they're really inexpensive to purchase, and flip it upside <clears> down, <throat> squeeze it together, use a zip tie to lock it in, it clearly, it looks like a Christmas tree. And normally, you know, sometimes we decorate with lanterns in the corners of our rooms to brighten up a dull well, corner. we do these outside, too. Yeah, yeah outside is perfect. We take forms perfect. and yep. string them with outdoor lights. They're very beautiful. So indoors or outdoors is perfect for either. And then you're just gonna wrap the lights around it. I'm not gonna do it right now because well, I have one, one right that's right over here. Yeah, it's beautiful, really yes. simple. And it's so easy. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little tip about Christmas trees. Now again, your Christmas tree, it's been in your house for a little while now. Uh, we're close to Christmas. You don't know how much water to put in it. You just think, all right, as long as there's water in it. The rule of thumb is, which this is really fun, is the diameter of the base of your tree, which is, we'll say it's four inches, is, uh, is equivalent to four uh, quarts of water for that tree. So again, if you wanna go uh, under your tree and if you wanna just measure what that diameter is, so if it's five, it's a six, whatever, uh, make sure you know how many quarts fill into one of your little bases and pour that in just like so. Obviously we all know how to put water in. Um, make sure you turn your lights off if you can when you're going out of the room and at the same time, keep your temperature low around the house and that will help to not dry your tree out.